So welcome back. Uh, on this episode, we're going to go into um, a few differences on the block, especially if you have a one nine block. This is a two liter block, um, and uh, the oil passages within the block, and a few things you need to do to prep it before you start building it. Um, once we get that done, then we'll start going into building the block. But so please uh, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified on all the other upcoming videos that we're going to have on this. Um, we should be running a video every uh, once a week now or maybe even two or three times a week. As, as I've been building this motor, I will be getting out new videos on a regular basis. So uh, with that, let's get started. All right, well, here we go. Uh, this is the next motor I've been building. It's a 2 liter, 2.2. Uh, uh, the 2.2 and the 2 liters are both done in 2 liter blocks. There are different variants of the block, but for the most part, um, they're all the same when it comes to like the oil chambers, and that's kind of what I wanted to go into because there's a few things we need, I need to discuss in regards to uh, prepping the block before you actually start assembling it. And actually, this is one of the things you kind of need to do before you even put it on the engine stand. So um, when you see the next coming up, parts just know that it's probably been a lot easier for you to do it before it was on the engine stand in the way I, I ended up having to do it to show it to you guys so anyway um, basically the cast of the block uh, all the oil galleys are nothing more than simply drilled through holes in the casting none of this is cast when it comes out of the foundry so like you can see here this is where the oil comes in from you know from the uh, oil pan through the pickup tube and it's going to get come through this chat channel that was drilled right through there, and then it's going to be picked into the timing cover. The filter is going to filter it, and it's going to shoot it right out this hole right here. And that that hole is drilled all the way through the back, and that's what we're going to get to here in a second. And as you can see, you have the uh, chamber there that's in the casting, and if you look a little bit closer, you can see uh, the actual galleys here that are running up into the bearings and that's where basically there's a hole that's drilled in there from the other side usually underneath the uh, crank so that's where the oil that's how the oil galleys kind of run there on the block obviously there's other oil that's going to be shooting out all over the chain and such but uh yeah so that's that's what we got to go with um and uh like i said there's the galley on the back and let me show you that now I like to tap them and put a plug in them. You can get the plug and the tap from Amazon. And as you can see, if you look down there, it's just basically a channel that goes all the way through the block. Now, I should mention on the uh, on that hole, it actually, you do not need to drill it. The M16 tap fits in there perfectly. Um, that said, you may still have that plug in place. That plug usually comes out uh, when your machine shop is going to wash and clean your your block if they haven't pulled it Then you might want to talk to your machine shop because that means they didn't clean all your galleys that you you have in there um, So anyway, so basically you need the m16 uh, By one and a half tap you can get it from bell metric or Amazon and I think Amazon I, I got this from Amazon through bell metric uh, And then like I said just put a little bit of grease on the end of it So and you'll show that in a minute as to why and then of course your m16 plug that you'll get from there as well and then you can use either a copper washer or in the case of this one I, I like to use these which are which are your uh, little neoprene washers uh, they have neoprene and they're uh, I believe brass uh, either way they'll, you'll get a nice good seal on it there so that's basically what you need to uh, go to the next step and uh, like I said you don't need a drill you just need to run the tap right through it and uh, deep enough that you can actually get the plug in there nice and nice and tight the tap fits in there perfectly. Um, long story short is that I've already kind of gone through there and basically straightened it up and then tapped it and now you know a little bit back and forth to get to get what you got to get done done. So when you get it out there, as you can see, the grease pack picked up all the bits as you started cutting it. So that kind of like that's one of the reasons you use grease other than obviously to help lubricate it so as you see now we got nice nice threads there and now we're gonna have to clean up as you'll notice there is a hole right there that's your that, that's the oil galley that goes down to your your main bearing 
um, you want to make sure that that hole is covered before you start tapping. But anyway, once you're done tapping, you're going to use your M16 by one and a half plug and a little bit of blue Loctite. And you're going to go ahead and put that right in there. Like that, nice good tight seal. And it should be there forever and never leak. All right, as you can see, we're, we got the uh, motor back on the engine stand and, and a little bit more stable than the last time. We also have the, uh, the, the plug is now in there, nice and solid. Um, and I also wanted to go over like, but basically one of the things also when you're setting your motor up on your engine stand, if you want to turn the crank over, break, break it in, or just do compression tests or anything like, else like that, um, you may want to do what I did here, which is get some big washers and space out the block from the uh, from the spider just a little bit. Well, well, that uh, that's the end of this episode. And so uh, again, please subscribe, hit the bell, and uh, so you can get notified when we get to the next step, which will be uh, going through the crank and uh, all the bearings and getting all that done. I know it's already done here, but that's because that came from the machine shop that way. Um, but I want to double check all this stuff and make sure it's all good um, because you may trust your machine shop, but there's still, you know, everybody, everybody makes mistakes. So it's always good to go over everything you get from the machine shop just to be on the safe side. All right. And until next time, thank you very much.